Well, back to uh, historic Route 66 here, and uh, there's a place I didn't stop last summer here at uh, Peggy Sue's Diner. They uh, offer free overnight RV parking in their lot out here, and so uh, we're gonna go check it out here. We're gonna have a, a late lunch there later, but first, they have a dinosaur park. Lots of quackers. Hey guys. I'm not sure exactly what dinosaurs have to do with 50's Diner, but I like the effort here. Different. Well, they do have some real turtles here, though. Hey, guys. I'm not going to move or prove they're real, but they're real. Hey, guys. How you doing here? Life is rough, huh? Yeah. And of course, do not feed the diner sores. Ha, ha, ha get it. Uh, they're kind of crude. There's King Kong. We'll just steal dinosaurs, but <laughs> how did I miss this place? I don't, I don't even remember this little stretch of Route 66. After we got back from looking at the dinosaurs, there were two RVs that kind of just sandwiched us in. I'm like, we didn't park far enough away, guys. So we came out to the other side of Peggy Sue's diner, and now there's this big, huge opening. But wait, wait five minutes. An RV is going to park right, right here. <laughs> they uh, advertise free RV overnight parking for trucks and RVs at their diner for one night. They advertise that. So they're definitely going to get our business tonight for uh, dinner. I already actually took the bike about three and a half miles down to the post office in Yermo, dropped off some more sticker orders there. It's just so much fun having that. Oh my gosh. It just adds this whole other element to travel, you know, where I could just set up anything in the RV and then just have the wind in my face. I can never wipe the smile off my face when I'm riding either. So anyway, I'm gonna go check this out later. You hungry? Yes, please. She's hungry. All right, Peggy Sue's Diner says, if the door's unlocked, we are open. Elvis. Your fortune is clear as well. Betty Boop. They got a gift store over here. Come on and find out. Jeez. And this one. Look at that. Another Elvis there. What a cool restaurant. They have a total of three restaurants here. Look at this place. That's awesome. The two eggs. The, uh, I just like your eggs. Over easy. And the hash browns, tomatoes, cottage cheese. I'm going to do the uh, meatloaf dinner there if awesome. I'm not out of that one with mashed potatoes and gravy. I have actually been to a lot of diners, and this is one of my favoritest ever. Cool is this? So much Elvis. Old jukebox for display only, but this is an authentic record jukebox too. Cool. They got a Wizard of Oz over here. I said Three Stooges when we came in, but I'm wrong. I don't. I'm not sure. It's not Harry Chaplin. It's not, I don't know. Ooh. Angel's all fancy with her research. Abbott and Costello on the outside. Don't know who the middle guy is. <laughs> it's possible. Just talk to the waitress. It's Laurel, Ed, and Harvey. Oh, I'm quite impressed. Soup. Wasn't even done with that. The main course came. Meatloaf, potatoes, cornbread. Angela went with breakfast. That looks yummy. <laughs> well, good morning, everybody. It's going to be a cloudy, foggy morning. And this actually was not a very quiet lot. Did get some neighbors. And there were some other trucks that were rolling through uh, night idling and stuff like that. But it was a fine spot for one night. Look what happened to Angela over there. <laughs> Somebody parked right up on her for no reason. Very strange. We actually liked this diner so much we're gonna go in and have breakfast here as well before we head out. Well we got some plans and some um, some miles to uh, make up today. So go get a bite to eat and then I'll put everything away and get on the road. All right back on the road now heading uh, southwest towards the dreaded big cities, but it's going to be okay. Uh, if you're wondering what's going on in the bottom right hand corner of my windshield, my entire license plate bracket fell off. Not 
luckily it didn't fall off on the road. It fell off while I came back and was parked. It was laying in the dirt. The entire piece of plastic that holds the front license plate and the brackets that go into the metal no longer attach. So, for right now, yes, it's in the front windshield and that is a project for today, is to reattach that somehow. Probably get some bolts with nuts and washers and find a new way. Uh, so that means a trip to Home Depot. <laughs> I'm not gonna say anything. Today is gonna be a good day no matter what though. Uh, clouds though, cloudy and still kind of cool in the 60s. Whereas tomorrow there is sunshine and 76 degrees in Los Angeles. So, probably just gonna work on the licensed plate today and have some fun tomorrow. And it's really nice. We'll see. Well, we got into Santa Clarita. We're just about uh, 10 miles from uh, downtown Anaheim. And uh, there is a security guard here at this Walmart. So I'm just gonna wait till she comes back around and have a little word with her, kind of see what's going on, because uh, it, it's it's really tough. Uh, otherwise, we may go find another spot to sleep for the night because it's getting too late in the day, and it's just cloudy. So we're gonna save our plans for uh, early tomorrow morning here in the Anaheim area. So I'll let you know uh, how my talk with the security guard goes. So my front license plate, there it is. Uh, the bolts to attach this whole bracket to the bumper are behind the license plate. So I put in new locking nuts and bolts to the bumper, and then I put the same thing, new bolts in here, locking nuts that uh, will not vibrate loose or give me any more problems on the road. So, good to go. Hey, so it never hurts to talk and ask. It never does. Uh, basically, the gist of what they told me is that uh, uh, the the private property here was forced by the city to put up the no overnight parking signs to keep out people from living here for weeks on end. Um, it's still private property and the manager, you know, she said that she could kick out anybody she wants to for, for, for no reason uh, or she could just let it pass for one night. And after she said that, she was like being really nice basically and then basically said, by the way, the uh, little lot behind, well this I guess Ace Cash Express here, but she said that lot, that little parking area between Walmart and there uh, is jointly owned. Uh, therefore, our security does, uh, won't, won't be patrolling that area because they can't really, you know. So she kind of put it in a way where it's like, yeah, you're fine if you just want to sleep and head out in the morning. So look at this van parking right up next to me. Oh yeah, it's my girlfriend. <laughs> anyway, we're going to park here and uh, should be quite enough and I'm really excited about tomorrow. So let me, let me show you inside something. That's not gonna matter a whole bunch to y'all, but I cleaned this area a little better to make my gaming system just a little more organized for when I wanna play games. So now my Nintendo 64, my PS2, and my PS4 are, are all out and displayed all the time. Not to mention all hooked into power and all of them hooked into the TV and ready to go. Uh, just switch this back and forth between 1 and 2 to go from Nintendo 64 and PS2. And my PS4 uh, goes into the HDMI. So the controllers are all out and all ready. And I got one Guitar Hero controller right there ready to go real quick. But I actually have four guitars uh, in the RV at all times. I got every game for the Nintendo 64. I've got every Guitar Hero game for the PS2. And I'm just starting my collection with the PS4 games. I'll be honest with you, sometimes I don't even touch the, any of the gaming systems for a whole week. It just depends on what's going on, but you know when I have some downtime, or if it's raining, not nice outside or something, it's great to have. Just like Netflix, or, or over the air, free TV, or anything like that, it's just uh, it's, it's great to have. And, and having it this system like this makes it so that it's not going to be a pain or an ordeal to hook everything up each time I want to play. So that's the new setup. Morning, everybody. Yeah, so today, gonna go do something and uh, <laughs> gotta get on the road though, gotta get an early start. Well, 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 Jax, we're going places, okay? Yeah, we're going places. Hey, so just a heads up, if you're an RV and you're coming to Disneyland, they have made a big change on the parking as of February 20th of this year. 
you no longer go to the main gate, the really cool gate that looks all awesome. Once you go through there, they'll just exit you and it takes an extra half hour. But uh, anyway, they park all the RVs over here at the Toy Story Lot Convention Center parking and they have a new shuttle service over here that'll uh, take you over into Disney. So that's new and they raised the price five bucks. But um, anyway, Angela and I are gonna go hang out for the day, not bringing any cameras, not sharing any of this with y'all because we just wanna enjoy it for ourselves. So I'll catch back up with you guys uh, in a couple days. Hopefully, have a good one. Bye-bye.